Go ahead. Get What's the young up. boy name that we just had? Capella Gray? Yes. Let him come out with one more of them. Let him come out with one more of them. And it resembles that sound. Every fucking label in America is going to go try to find the next Capella Gray. And if to it, emulate that sound. Truth. They're going to go. That song is out of here. Let them give you two or three more of them. They're going to go start finding little niggas from fucking Trinidad to try and emulate that sound or Jamaica to emulate that sound. You're right. And I while agree. they do it, if Capella Gray has that same attitude he had here, mm-hmm. they're going to get him the fuck out of here. I'm not disagreeing with you. Well, that's disagree. why I'm that, saying that's two not, things can be true. No, but that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is he made that sound hot. Right. The not machine nobody, didn't. Right. right. They're going to go try to find niggas to tell me make one of them. If Joe has the money, Joe's going to look for somebody. Like, let's say. I uh, eat a drill, about, nigga. Joe's going to look for, going to go on you. Like, these p- companies are looking at the numbers first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, let's be mm-hmm. clear. Like, it's no such thing as artist development in 2022. That's a big fact. It's yep, no that's such true. thing. There you go. That's so true. you have to already be like, you figure like. You got to make yourself hot. Benny that's... and them was already selling out shows before Rock Nation pulled up. Yeah. The machine had, your machine has to already be rolling Emotion. before the machine even comes. Mm-hmm. They only quantify what you do in 2022. That kind of goes back to our argument about they the only quantify what you do. If you have level. the money, you will not go find a kid with five thousand followers, not verified, to, 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 to say, "Yo, I'm about to put eight hundred thousand into his tape." Right. That's not true. He's going to be verified, one hundred and twenty thousand followers, Gotta already hit. busting on YouTube, yeah. and we're gonna we're gonna sprinkle this on there the to guy. make this bigger. You're the guy with the invisible dog collar, like Neil deGrasse calls me, the caveman. It's Explain. the same exact thing. You're wrong. I, I, I agree with him. Biden, said, I think he sounds right. I think everything, I do, everything, every single thing he said is accurate. If you're the guy with the dog collar, because that's all, you can't see the dog collar. Give me the Capella, the Capella well, listen to example. This. Listen to this. You got to explain. Yes, Benny was already selling out shows. So average mind says he should be able to continue to do that. Mm-hmm. And if you give him the opportunity, right, he should be able to do that. Like, so we in agreement there. I'm with you there. Where I say you have the dog collar is we don't know that there's red lines and everything. So when it comes to venues, se- separate, segregation. Indeed. Indeed. So while we're right, Benny sells out. So if given the opportunity, he should be able to do that. But you won't be given the opportunity because this is redlined and these companies own these venues and if you want the chance to do what we think you could do you got to come play ball come, come but, you cha- but you're changing the argument we talking about ahead. we take we talking about the sound and the art mm-hmm. and that's where you started you you've changed oh, it into a different you change it you I, I, I my point started with what we enter when we introduce music business. So maybe no, we talking about you started talking about the drill sound. Right. Mm-hmm. And you said, do you think that the labels are pushing that sound with an agenda? Right? Mm-hmm. And we said, I think that, and I jumped in and said, no, I think that they see the money behind that sound. And so now that's, they, they just trying to push that. Cause that's, and, but it's not because even trying to. That's all that's, they could do. It's profitable. They can't do it. Labels can't do anything. Like, I just can't imagine... Like, they can't create a sound. Right. I just can't imagine a label creating a sound and then but finding then, a bunch of people to do it. My, it yeah, happens yeah, yeah, the yeah, other but, way. But, so all right, but sense. y'all ignore my point. Because, yes, the label can't create a sound. They also don't have to when I have one million niggas that will sign away all rights for the chance. To sound like what I need them to? To show what that sound does somewhere. And no. if you don't get that at that door, you'll get it at the concert. But that's venues. not where we started. That's right, not where ahead. that's not where this started. Okay, we we started talking about um do we think that the label is covertly pushing that particular agenda? Right, and they can't push That's shit. where we started. But if they but if they're stripping you of your right to free will option and decision making. But the niggas came into the door with that sound already. And yeah, did but now what you, with it? You come into the door with the sound and say, I don't want to do the sound. No if more. a sound if a sound pops tomorrow, labels are going to like if something else just magic tomorrow. So I that. I the labels are gonna say, that's old, this is new, let's put our money here. If Capella Gray puts out another banger, he can't go to the label now and say, I want to do something totally different. No, you're gonna give me some more of that gala sound. That Gallus is what got you in this fucking office. That's nigga. what we're gonna put that's out. That's what we want. Of dollars the shit. numbers are showing that this is moving. The boy said he don't even have a passport yet. 
No, he, well, he, no, he, got, he just got it. it. He got it four days before yeah, he sat he here. It. Do you know what that song is going to do internationally when he can start going to do shows? Mm -hmm. You know what that shit is going to do in London? That's a London vibe. Yo, them mm. label sessions, the music inside, I'm not talking about what you got at home at your studio. Mm. The music inside them label sessions probably sound repetitive as shit. Probably. Mm -hmm. the, like, the, what the label wants to keep. Probably, or, or, or you know what I mean? You know, you go into the label session. Them shit's probably sound repetitive as hell. And this is why this conversation is important and is going to continue to get interesting. Because you have young minds like Surf, like Capella Gray, and so forth and London. so on, right? Like Lady London. Mm -hmm. I really fuck with I her. I really like her. I yeah, really yeah, fuck yeah. with her. You like me? Shut up, man. <laughs> Just check it. Capella Gray came here and spit all of that international shit. Said, yo, I'm not even really about to focus on America because my song is new in so many other countries. He mm -hmm. said, y'all just got a passport four days ago. Mm -hmm. First thing I heard in my brain, back to redlining. Mm -hmm. Yo, most of us don't get international. Mm -hmm. True. Mm-hmm. That's just one of the many disconnects there. Like, he's right. Capella Gray is right. He should never be here for the next maybe five, six I years. I just said that. Yo, That's you not going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't I tell him? You, like, you ain't doing I said, nigga, you're not here. doing no album this quarter. But he'll come back here. You about to go get a couple million but, dollars but, overseas. But he'll come back over here and get into some shit that it's not time for him to get into. Because he went to somebody and said, yo, what we did internationally, what we did in Africa, what we did here, what we did here, and he's going to get back fuzziness. Well, he's going to get back something that he don't like unless his JV deal is different, different, which it could be. But normally you run into those walls where you thought you had an answer for the design, and now it pushes you back to the design is he all I'm saying. He a new artist. He's going to bump his head a whole bunch. Yeah. What I'm saying is he's going to fall in some... Traps, pits, I love Capella calls. Gray. Please don't miss. Yeah, no, 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 no. That was, yeah, I yo, fuck with, I we fuck fucked with that little yeah, nigga. Yeah. We love. What I'm saying is this: if he puts out another one of them songs, mm -hmm. that becomes a new sound, and it resembles that sound, mm -hmm. just resembles. Mm -hmm. Right. The label and and it does the same numbers that Gallus did. Mm -hmm. Right. The label no don't want to hear you talk nothing else. No investment. Ding, 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 nigga. This is a hit. We know it's a hit. We see the numbers that it produced. Uh, okay. I want you to do similar shit to that. And my response to that, understand what you're saying. My response to that in this side of the argument is contingent upon how the label views him. What if they view him like the little revolutionary nigga he is and thinks that he might be a threat past this? And if we can keep pumping money into this nigga, mm -hmm. he's going to This could get bad. Mm -hmm. I know that because I deal with it at the negotiation table I with me. That. Like they come into it saying, oh, this could get bad if we empower him. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's a real life. I think you are looked at in a different light. You have a but history he could of being be. a disruptor. He no, 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 no. I don't know that, that with him. I know. Joe's You're right. talking. You're right. Joe's You're right. talking. You're right. You are talking. You have. You are an influencer. You have, and I didn't notice. I'm gonna keep it real. I didn't notice until I got on the pod. Mm. Dog, you gotta see the sentimental shit niggas be putting in my DMs. <laughs> Kids be like, dog, I'm 22 years old. Like I'm on the verge of a breakdown. I love y'all niggas. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a different, that. huh? I'm not saying a lot of that. Dog, that's different yeah. than than what a, a musician does. Oftentimes, not all the time, but oftentimes. Mm. It'd be a lot of the same. So a lot Joe, of Joe could have a powerful voice. So now the powers that be don't want to empower no black man that has the ability to saying. move millions and millions and millions of people. Like as strong as Joe voice is lyrically, he's still like outside of that. Like he has a strong voice as far as just thought Talk. process. Yes. And yeah. Exactly. Music is different. Right? Music has the ability to move people emotionally. This nigga got the ability to potentially start a revolution and they're they not doing that. It's just right in terms of his route, but okay. they could feel like that about the rapper. No, business wise, though. He He's not giving us control. Have, just, he don't want us to control yeah, his bread. He a pop. It's kind of like when we talked about Kanye with the STEM machine and all mm -hmm. of that. Like, that could change the game. Indeed. They could look at Capella and say, yo, the way this kid is talking, he's just a he hard a nigga look, to control. He don't have the ability if to we, If West we hat. give him yo, enough for me, for money, me, yo, all when of this, he's out of here like that, all, he could fuck this all up. All of this is rooted in how much money do we think that Master P made universal? And then cash money. How much money do we think that cash money made universal? Hey, how much money do we think young money made universal? How much money do we think, yes, narcissist Joe, that... This pod made Spotify 
versus what a call me daddy. I bring it up a lot because I look at it a lot. Mm -hmm. You should. There is a reason that Master P didn't get a billion dollars from somebody. There's a reason for mm -hmm. it. Do I think that, that he was fault? worth that somewhere? Yeah, but How, you took it up. Is that his own fault? I think so. How so? Explain I, I think to me. that I think that had young Master P had the information he has today, he takes that universal deal and he's a billionaire. I think at that point in his life, niggas were still buying cars and buying dumb shit and doing a whole bunch of dumb well, shit. Mean? He'll say it today. Can you show your power too fast? He took his universal deal. No, listen to what I'm saying. He would have. I said he would have took the universal deal and, and turned, turned it into a billion it. dollars. Mm -hmm. Now he's like, "Yo, I didn't know about trademarking, right?" I watched Bill Bellamy the other day on TV. <laughs> Look, I watched Bill Bellamy the other day on TV. Bill Bellamy's the first nigga that we ever heard say "booty call" in a comic skit. Mm -hmm. He didn't know the trademark it. Right. They turned that shit into a movie called "Booty Call." Mm -hmm. The shit that niggas know today to do, Master P and them niggas didn't know to do back then. I want to bling bling. I you could have trademarked bling nigga, bling. Bling bling was in the dictionary. I want to be very clear Man. on what you're saying, just to add perspective, mm -hmm. because what Master P produced made mad billions, probably to niggas that had the information so and what knew what to do with so it. So what you're saying is, if Master P had the information that he now in has. The 90s. Back then, He'd then he would have figured out a way to make his billions around the billions that he already made. Or them niggas and wouldn't have made the billions. that's where the, my issue is. We they already made, the made it. They wouldn't have made Yo, the you're right. If I knew what was to come with the Spotify podcast development, mm -hmm. my negotiation would have gone different, but I didn't know. Mm -hmm. You are right. Nor did they. No, they did. I don't think they did. I think they got us just as much information from you and working with you. Mm -mm. Hear me out, please. Go ahead. You were the first major nigga on Spotify. I wasn't. Who was first? Amy Schumer. He said uh, nigga. No, no, no. Well, Even, I, I think I know what he meant. I, yeah, I, was saying, I meant person. Major I person. Person. Oh, no, so I didn't, it was Amy I didn't, Schumer. I didn't know. See, and that speaks to kind of what my beef finished, is. But Go ahead. I think you, when you came, it showed them how powerful this spot of, I mean, this podcast division can be. Look what this boy's doing, right? With his demo that's marginalized. Mm -hmm. Imagine what we could do with Rogan. Mm -hmm. Rogan don't know how much, they might have made $10 billion off of Joe Rogan because they know what they made off of you doing a million a week or whatever you do a week an episode mm -hmm. he's doing 11 million an episode so only no now we took the information we got from joe they didn't know that information was available mm -hmm. you would have got you it would've from joe like the test run he was the test dummy mm -hmm. he's the crash dummy here we know what we could get from joe imagine what we could get from the other joe so we could go throw him 100 million and it's revolutionary revolutionary in this space mm -hmm. But that's peanuts to them because we know what Joe did. They might have made a couple hundred off of you. You never know. They might have made a couple hundred million off of you and ad dollars and this and that and all the other shit there's that come no, along with it. There's no might of about it. So, again, <laughs> why would we not go give Joe Rogan a hundred million? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying with the Master P shit. Master P don't know. Nigga, you don't take that deal if you know which, what, what is capable. You get what you're capable of. Right. Which is why the young artists today... Learn say from he Puff. won't take that deal. They learn from Jay. When you hear Lord, Lady London come in here and talk, when you hear the boy Capella Gray, that's his first single. Yep. Mm -hmm. He said, yo, I wrote it, I produced it, and I performed it. They call me a hundred percenter because I did everything. Mm -hmm. Nigga said he go, and you said before he sat down that you have been hearing from execs that he comes in the room and put his dick out. Yeah, but that's kind of my A hundred percent? That's kind of my point. The boy could go overseas right now He's and never have to work again. He's a 100% off of one Look song. at what he had to be. If if Master P knew what a 100%er was in the exec world back then, like look at what he had to be in order to what? We got to see. We don't know. Mm -hmm. But what we do know is this. That boy can take that one song mm -hmm. and never have to work again. Yeah, but see that's not enough. That's not enough. If I'm, if I'm a uh, baby, mm -hmm. 
from Cash Money. Mm -hmm. I think that I made Universal billions. A billion dollars. No, no, no multiple billions. No, multiple, multiple, multiple billions. I agree with that. Multiple billions. I don't know what his no worth question. is. I won't speak to it. So now let I me don't, ask you I this. Don't, I don't pocket watch. But where, wherever his standing is today in the world is not indicative of his production. Yo, but who's and when, and when we, we keep seeing black and when we keep seeing those examples of black greatness shining and performing at the highest of calibers and not being fucking uh not profiting from it or getting the short end of a stick, even if that short end is a lot, because Master P is well off. The but it's because, baby's well off. But is that because of Universal? Yeah. Or is that because Baby didn't have, take so what he have, got and ran with question. it? Can I ask a question real quick? Or it's because he didn't, or you didn't know. Yeah. Let me know. You out here buying cars, fucking bitches. No, I'm not even talking wow. about that. Wait. I'm not even talking about that. I doubt that at that Who's time. Whose fault is that, Joe? I didn't hear you. I got a question. Whose fault is that? Whose fault is what? Hypothetically, like, I, sometimes I, like, I, down, I dumb stuff down. Whose to make fault is what? I'm that baby's say in a position let's just here. say, let's just say you but, got a you got a drug block. Hold on, hold on. No, you got a drug block. Up, he's not in a let's position. say you got a drug block and your block makes money, right? And you have roughly 50 people, 60 people pull up to your block a day. Mm -hmm. And I pull up to your block and I say, yo, I have whatever method to have 200 people come to this block a day. It's gonna make you money, but it'll probably make me three times what it makes you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now we look up 10 years later, and what I got isn't transparent, like isn't, I forget the word you use, to what you got. Is that my fault? Like, who are we blaming? I understand what you're saying. You can't blame them. I understand what Surf is saying, so let me reply. Let's take money out of it, because I see where it's confusing. Let's take money out of it, because I see where the disagreement is. No money. In sheer regard. Do we look at Master P with the regard that we should... No. As no. far as his local do we look his at, iconicness? Do we look at no. Baby from no. Cash Money with the regard that we should? Do we no. look at Lionel Richie with the regard that we should? No. Do no. we look at Marvin Gaye? Like, pick a black person. No money involved now. We don't. But this argument is kind of Why like do you think that is? Them, though. Why Marvin Gaye is Marvin Gaye. Baby's baby, though. Like, let's act, not act like we don't treat them yeah, like but what, No, 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 no. What, what he said, hold on, hold on, hold on. What he said, what he said with that example, Come on, man. for what Baby on, did yeah. for Universal. What he did for Universal. He's not Stop looked at it. for what so, he's not so looked wait, at. Oh, wait, 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 that's wait, wait. So, okay, so even that. Okay, like wait. That's, that's a so fact. what are we about? That's like saying you can't for what? Even question that. For what the trap? Like again, I'm getting for what I did for the plug. Like why should I be? Why should I look black or white, regardless of color? And I'm always pro black. Give it to me. Why should I look bigger than the plug? No, because that's what it kind of sounds like. But this is the problem. That's what it kind of sounds like. You Bruh, said, you said, you said, you said in retrospect no to what? In retrospect to what? Universal looks like, and I look like him. I never said that. I let me, never let me, that. I'm going to answer you. Let me, let me answer you. I think it's a matter of priority at this point. So we watched Leah Cohen. You could even take Wayne. No, listen. We watched Leah Cohen. You can't. No, you, can. you can't take Wayne. We watched Leah Cohen. Mm -hmm. He ran Def Jam for how many years? 20? Matt. 20, right? Mm -hmm. He went on to another venture, which was YouTube. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck couldn't Baby go start YouTube? His priority wasn't in YouTube. His priority was Wait, in, no, no, no. He didn't go start YouTube. Well, I mean, whatever. Turn he YouTube, just took a deal Turn over YouTube there. into whatever it is today. He took a deal over there. Cool. So my point is this. But they might not offer Baby that deal over there. Fuck what they... If they see your value, you get offers. Information, bruh. They can't shut you out. Y'all, they can't shut you out. Go start your own fucking thing then. You see what YouTube is doing? Go start your own. And where's money, nigga? I don't give a fuck. It causes all color barriers. When niggas know they can get rich off you, they gonna fuck with you. We out here buying cars, buying chains, doing dumbass shit. When these niggas is prioritizing how the fuck they get to the next billion dollars. So niggas was pacified when they gave uh, baby 35 million. They was happy as hell. They wasn't looking at if they could give me 35, nigga, my next deal could be 400. Yo. You know who's starting to do that? Motherfucking Jay-Z. Because he had uh, uh, Ace of Spade. He owned it to the net. I could only get to a certain level with the Ace of Spade. Talk about this. Look how I make a full circle. I could only get to one level with Ace of Spade. So now I'm going to sell half of it to Hennessy. You know why? 
Because I could get thirty billion dollars with Hennessy when I could only get three billion dollars owning it my motherfucking self. So what's half of thirty billion? Fifteen. I'm gonna let them take fifteen, and I'm gonna take fifteen when the ceiling was right here for me when I owned a Dolo at three. That's business. Because that's fucking business, my nigga. It ain't color based. It's money based. Fifty percent. We keep blaming our shortcomings oftentimes on some fucking color instead of on information and know how. If Baby, Master P, and all these other niggas had the know-how, they would have done it. De Russell Simmons was but the only niggas back in the day trademarking shit gonna, because he had information. I'm going to use your argument against you. It's not they would have done it. In your argument, you're saying they should have done it again. And that's my point. What do you mean done it again? I don't you're see. saying, hey, Leo ran Def Jam, then he left there and did it at YouTube. If mm -hmm. Baby was so bright, why didn't he go and start the YouTube? Well, that's cool, but that's past the point of I brought you X amount of billions. <laughs> we don't need to move past. Joe, you do. Why this. didn't I do it again? You know why? Because and I'm going to call you on your you stuff. Keep asking. Stop, they stop, signed stop, a contract. Stop, 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 stop. stop. You do you this when it benefits sometimes. You tiptoe on the same argument you be having. They me. signed that. Who signed what? Baby Universal and baby signed a deal. You agree, we handshake. You gonna get this, I'm gonna get this. If I say for every one, you make, you. I make hold, five. Hold up, sir, hold up, sir. Ten years you're not about to be mad I'm at me. Exactly. You. They don't owe you a motherfucking thing. Because you stand on that side of the argument sometimes. With Yo, you, regards you to... Not, see, you doing a lot of talking no. and not responding to nothing I said. Yes, I am. No, you just not. said, yo, dog, 10 years later, is baby held in the regard that he should be held? You said take money out of it. Yes. We're going to take money out of it. It's Lionel Richie held in the regard that he should no, be stay on baby. Stay oh, on baby. Oh, stay on baby and P. Master P and baby. Give me baby. Stay. It's fine. Baby, baby and Master P. Mm -hmm. Now, had baby and Master P moved differently in the 90s, they would be held in different regard. They move like artists. And they move like artists. And because when you're moving like an artist or a, a sub owner of a label owner, My response, they could have taken all of their resources and pumped them into something bigger they didn't. My response to you. They could have been universal. My response to you. They weren't thinking like artists. It's almost offensive to say it. It's an insult. The thinking that both of them had at the time to close the types of groundbreaking. Not artists. Stop, I don't mean yo, artists. let me say what I'm saying. To close the types of groundbreaking, industry-changing deals that both of them did. It wasn't artist thinking. It wasn't. It was hustler, drug exec, dealer, yeah, drug dealer. one of a That's kind, mm -hmm. right? Yes. It was thinking that made them tons of money mm -hmm. and their partners. So mm -hmm. that's what you say is good mm -hmm. business. No, I didn't say that. Good. No, no, you say all the time that a uh, relationship... Win-win. Win-win is yeah, good business. it's good business. So that's good business. We're not beefing there. Mm -hmm. We don't have a disagreement there. My, What I'm saying is when you take money out of it, but you don't have to because it's good business on both sides, is in sheer regard, Master P did something that the industry wanted to never happen again. Yeah, they, they made sure of that. Well, they, and they, they held to. secret meetings. Yeah. They changed rules. Mm -hmm. They did mad shit to assure that that type of deal, 90-10, was unheard of, inexplicable, should never happen, right? Cool. Somehow, baby comes. Mm -hmm. And he don't get that deal. Mm -hmm. Without Master P. But he got something nice that one. wasn't too far <laughs> from it. A nice one. And the same building said, <laughs> wait a minute. They got us twice. We cannot have this happen. Now, my point is, from that, we cannot have this happen to Ice's earlier point of, it's media time now. We're not in business now. We're not in what you did for, it's media time. Hey, this nigga don't pay no artists. This nigga such and such and such. This nigga such and such. We just throwing shit on him now. Both of them, Master P and Baby. Mm -hmm. And now public perception, which is why I say take money out of it. It was all successful, so who cares? Take money out of it. Public perception just in sheer, the same way Parks watched that fucking Kanye doc and say, oh, it's genius. <laughs> all this fuckity fuck shit. You know how many geniuses there have been? A million. They won't tell the story. Fuck transactions. 
Why won't they tell the story is my question to both you niggas. Can I ask a question? You go okay, first. so my question is this, right? Like how we carry ourselves should be of some type of some type of narrative in this, right? Or how you carry so like the more CEOs that we see, like CEOs is like baby was running around wearing red flags for 10, 15, 20 years. Oh, and tattoo the red star. And tattoo the star like Yo, that one minute matters. you niggas. Yo, one minute you niggas tell me it's all about the numbers and what we bringing in and what's on paper, and then y'all start telling me about how we behave. You said take the numbers Yo, out of it. Y'all niggas be no, proving no, my you point. You said take me. the numbers you said out take of it. Take the numbers out so of it. So we gonna take the numbers out of it and bring perception to it. So now as a company, that's why they not held in the same regard. As a that's pushing you, am I about to push? Am I about to push blood five star in your head? Da, da, da. It's still a way. If he would have threw on a time four suit and was carrying himself like the yo, owner yo, of, yo, you don't from, think that? Yo, listen to yourself, dog. I'm asking the question. Stop for a minute, but listen to yourself. I know you're asking the question, but listen to yourself. We, we come from where we come from, and right. we come from the art of expression. Yo, I've taken mad meetings with the fucking nigga that went to 30 colleges, blah, 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 had all the info from wherever he had it from, and guess what? I got mine from the crackhead in the streets. That's cool, okay? Have, stop, 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 stop. And we're here to have a conversation about it. Mm -hmm. Now, if you view me as lesser than because of my appearance and because of my behavior, it's every then day. boy, do y'all bring us right back to the Rogan conversation what? of, hey, I think you niggas are stupid and dumb and violent. And no matter where you come from, I'm viewing you a certain way, which is my entire fucking point in no, the first place. Pause this, pause this, pause this, pause this. I want to see if I can talk about this it's on not camera. Pause this. You come pause from. this, pause this. What I'm saying is this. In growth, we just this is this this is what pisses me off, right? Mm -hmm. We find where we could be talking about the same fucking thing, mm -hmm. and on 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 the same topic. One time y'all are staying on the left side, and one time y'all are staying on the right side, depending Which, on who the players are. For sure, it could be the same exact fundamental thing, and y'all niggas will take a whole different side on the same thing. Take you back off what you say, just in the sense of let's just use the word growth. In one argument, we'll be talking about growth and how we need to grow and how it's necessary to grow to get where you got to go. But then we'll take another conversation and go back and we start talking about growth and say, hey, why isn't he where he's supposed to be? But then we can't use the he didn't grow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Title that we just we just was talking about. The mm -hmm. conversation was growth before we put the players in for the argument. Exactly. But exactly. now that we get in this topic, it's like, so now from, I'm just freestyling numbers, from 1993, you look up to 2017, it's like there was no growth in him as a person. Right. Why can't we use it for this argument? Okay, to respond to what you're saying, I have never used the word growth. No, we used no, growth no, earlier we, today and what we were trying to describe. In this particular argument, my position is the opposite of this growth shit. It's as is. And that's where y'all keep combating what I'm saying. Y'all like, y'all keep coming up. He's got tattoos on his head. Oh, he wears a flag. Oh, he's... My position is, as is, when I make you X amount of dollars, I should be regarded in a light. Now I'm not even talking about the sy systemic oppression and why I'm not regarded in that light or why I'm not paid for the work that I've done. I'm not, I took that off the table. Now I'm just talking about the light that I'm viewed in from the beginning of time. Any one black artist or black in entrepreneur conglomerate that you name from the beginning of time this exists with. And every time I position something that way, y'all come up with why it is. So you feel like no artist, so what's nobody your excuse has for Tyler Perry? Through? Elaborate. Excuse for him doing I don't what? have to. You smart enough to get what I'm saying. What's your excuse for Tyler Perry in the music business? I mean, in the, in the movie business. Excuse for? Tyler Perry. He's an outlier? Or did he do the things necessary to be what the fuck he is? You don't really want me to answer that. You don't really don't, want me to answer that. No, why? That. I'm gonna tell you why. Because actually, that argument supports what I'm arguing. Right. That are your your example, Tyler Perry support. You think Tyler? Be bigger. Wait, time out. You think Tyler Perry is regarded Tyler, the way Tyler, he should be regarded? Tyler could be way bigger. Huh? No, I don't think so. Yo, come on, yo, stop. This is just nonsense now. Okay. You think Tyler Perry is regarded the way he should be regarded for all of his accolades and accomplishments yeah. in, in, in Hollywood and doing it on his own? You said, yeah. I do. Uh, and, and then we done. Nah, see, but I think, and now we understand the difference of opinion. I think you're going to say that with everybody. If you think that that's how he should be regarded as this fucking caricature shit, then cool. He's regarded but he'll as tell a, you. He's he'll regarded tell as you, a caricature? Yes. 
He'll tell you out of his mouth, yo, what I've sold and what I've done. It's the same Byron Allen story. It's the same story from any nigga from the beginning of time. So now but y'all keep combating. So the and none of them are viewed that way. So the next time I hear you, so the next time I hear you take the label side, I'm gonna call you out on it. Right. The next fucking time I hear you take the label side and say, yo, the label got him to where he is, I'm gonna call you out on it. Cause you do it all the fucking so time when it comes to artists. So Let no, Puff do some shit. No you gonna say that, yo, Puff just helped him. It's no, well, it's no black. So you trying to say it's nobody that got to just do? It seemed like Pardon it seemed like regardless. Let me correct him about, so he's clear that. when he tries to correct me. Ninety five percent of the time, ish, that I take the label side, it started with the artist relinquishing their rights. So what did Baby do when he? He didn't relinquish Stop, rights. Please don't cut me he off. He didn't relinquish. Please don't rights. cut me off. He signed a piece of paper that said, "I'm gonna take 35 million, even though I make y'all a billion. He fucking signed it. Oh, the wait. same way the artist signs over their rights. Oh. Baby signed a piece of paper. Oh, you're not understanding my argument. You think I'm saying that? He? Oh, you? Okay, I think I see what you're saying. You think I'm saying that because he made them so much? He, he, he should have been. More. He deserved more. Should have been paid more. And I'm not saying that. I've never said that. Yo, you did and say no, that initially, no. and then you took it off of money and said, "Go to regard." Now go back to regard. You, we were talking about money initially, but go to regard now. True. Ish. My oh, my overarching point was just how he's viewed, and I tried to take that from a business point and from a just off a business point is all I tried to do. But my overall point is how he's viewed. And no, I don't think that he should have made more more off the contract because of what he did for them. No, because the contract that he came up with in his head at the time was redefining. It was world. He did what he had to do. I agree. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm not I saying agree. that he, he broke should the mold have of taking the fuck. He bills. did it. Yeah. Yo, we get to talk like this today. Because of them. Partly because, because them. he took that deal. Mm -hmm. So I don't take that from him. But the mind that comes with that, we have to view that a certain way and we do not. I'm not saying that Universal should have done more for him or paid more for him, but how they hold him, and I, and boy, you. that's important. See, that takes off your, it's a, it's a classism thing because he made it all. He got it. He's here. No. I'm at this table, yo, and y'all still this don't... This table's bigger than that table. No, I'm, there ain't no table bigger than that. Yes, it is. All right. Joe, are you serious? It's a meeting that happens every year in the world. Yes, there's a table. Jeff, oh, Jeff Bezos is No, there. it's a meeting that happens Bill every Gates, year in the world. There's 3,000 people there. What table do you think? But what I'm saying oh, is... In the I, world. I want you to put... He ain't there. No, no, you're right. Oh, okay. And you're... Our, Argument is, I want you to put him at the table he belongs at. So, and he's not there. So now, hold on. Why is he not there? You think because he don't put himself there? I'm gonna answer you with regards to him, just him, right? Not the Jay Zs, not the Puffs, because I think Universal? I think Jay two outliers. I think no, I think Jay two outliers. They I, there's a reason I didn't mention their name. I know, and I'm I'm mentioning it now. I'm bring whoa whoa, whoa. I'm bringing them into it now. Because they played the game differently than he did. Mm -hmm. They got more information than he did and utilized it to their best ability and to their advantage. No, man. You got more blood as no. you win. Exactly. No. Yeah, more, <laughs> Joe, hold up, Joe. Let, finish, Joe. Let me finish, Joe. Let me finish, Joe. Let me finish, Joe. Get your shit off. Finish, Joe. Get your shit off. You, you say that. No, no, no. You, you'll say today, 41 year old black man, you're a black man from the inner city of Jersey City, New Jersey. And there's certain motherfuckers you don't want in your presence today. As a 41-year-old millionaire black man, today, you don't want to be around it by certain elements of people. Yes or no? Imagine a 68-year-old. So imagine a 70-year-old motherfucker that's worth billions of dollars from Switzerland. Imagine another motherfucker that's 65 years old from France. And you imagine these fucking other 60-something-year-old billionaire power players. Do they really want to be sitting at the table with Baby when he comes in with the five-star in his head? With the, me with the gold teeth that's not showing no growth, that can barely articulate a, a, a fucking... Don't use apostrophes in his speech. Or, or would they rather just sit there and just continue to make the money off Or would they sit there and rather continue and to... They're going to invite you to the table on your way. And that's the reason that Jay-Z is getting invited to the table because he carries himself in a different manner than you play the game. You got to play. Master P that's said out of his own mouth, dog, time. he wished he did not keep the gold teeth that long because of how people perceived him. You know why this is funny? This is why this is funny. Before all of this started, 
Surf was sitting here talking about how important it is to have a cosign. Oh. Sure. Full circle. That's kind of at the root of what I'm arguing. And I know y'all gonna Amazing. Keep, I know y'all are gonna Amazing. Keep, I know y'all are gonna uh, keep finding push, push ways. Push the applause. For what? Because you bring it home. You bring you it home. It. You don't even know. I'm I'm trying, I see I'm where you're going. To. I see where you're going. I'm trying to. I'm trying to bring it home. So that's good. Surf talked about how important it is to have a cosign. And now, every time I mention something in the ballpark, y'all tell me all the different things that should have happened on the black side to receive the proper support of what your work called for on the other side. My example to that is Dr. Dre and Jimmy IV. So I ask you gentlemen this, how do y'all think Dr. Dre is viewed without Jimmy Iovine making sure at every turn he's viewed that way? That's a serious question. How would he be viewed? I think Dr. Dre is viewed as Dr. Dre, like the Dr. Dre. Without favorite, Jimmy Iovine, you're asking. You're saying, I, well, so you're saying he's viewed that way because of Jimmy Iovine constantly reminding? I'm just trying to understand your question. Yeah, I understand your question. Dr. Dre is the Dr. Dre. He. I don't, am I tripping? No, no, no. I, I, respect, I, I, I want some clarification before I can answer. Do we not respect Dr. Dre? No, he's saying, how is he looked at without Jimmy Iovine or because of Jimmy Iovine? Without. And, Honestly. And, no, I'm about to Think hear. about it. I'm not about just to, to win the conversation. No, I, I don't do that. Go ahead. I'm about to answer you. What I'm, I think he's looked at in super high regard as a result of his business dealings with Jimmy Iovine. We don't know where he would be without. without. I think at without, though, I think he never gets the beats deal. So that I don't beat, think he gets the aftermath deal. He I don't think get, the beat, but, but, wait, wait, but back, so those on, business dealings on, put not, him in a different level in a different light. Back what we said. Oh, wait, but does that not go back to the the conversation of Dr. Dre carrying himself and yes. himself the way you that Jimmy Iovine said? You know what? I can fuck with come you. I can fuck with you. Hey, come take this. Let me bring you on. I can fuck I with can you. I can fuck with you. I don't feel threatened by the company that you strong keep. Word. You're not coming Corey, with a 40 Corey nigga told entourage me for five that I feel years, scared. There's a strong word in the industry that people forget. It begins with an L. It's liability. People gave me a half a million dollars for three tapes and was spitting it out $25,000 at a time. So Why? Because I'm a liability. Do you know what has to happen for you to be a liability after you've made somebody a billion dollars? Yeah, you walk in with tattoos on your head and a hundred blood. No, you walk in with six niggas you know that got what? bodies every, and you be associated every, with them and every, could potentially be called in a federal say, prosecution case. I'm done because in everything y'all say, I hear my, I hear my That's the, the R argument word. I'm making. The R word. Yeah. The R word. Yeah. And, and know what's funny? When you start getting higher up in big I business, we talked about... Much now, our whole company we, is into no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Ho, ho, ho. Now y'all really want y'all really want to talk? Now, the Russian nigga that's worth $14 billion, right? That owns the record label. Guess what he got his hands into? The J.P. Morgan boat that got caught with the coke on it. You know what's funny? Hold up, Joe. The J.P. Morgan boat that got caught with the coke on it. So that's on a different level. I'm not allowing you niggas to wrap me up in a racketeering case. Because I really got my hands dirty over here. I'm worth billions of dollars, but I'm, I'm still fucking with the shit. Mm -hmm. They all tied in. So money is money. Shock job. I'm a shock jock. <laughs> no, but everything that y'all saying is why I made the shock jock argument, and there's that hurdle everywhere. See, I hear what y'all are saying about the behavior and representation of a baby, a younger Master P, but I'm going to remind you that that's y'all eyes, and in their eyes... Joe, we from the bottom. I, it I goes talk? to us, though. Like We're from the bottom. Can I talk? I'm going to remind you that that's from y'all eyes. They eyes don't necessarily work on that same, on that same frequency. frequency. Who's that? When you say they, who you referring to? The people or baby and Jimmy the white, the white execs. Right. Jimmy Ivy. There's more that I can say, but mm -hmm. I'll just say mm -hmm. Jimmy Ivy. Mm -hmm. to... Dre, I'll use y'all example. Dre looked apart. Sounded the part, bright guy, smart guy, no longer gang banging, worked his way up. We tight now, we cool, I'll play along, right? I'm playing the game. They closed the Beats deal. Jimmy Iovine says, yo, all you need to do 
to shut the fuck up. Shut up. For 48 hours. Mm-hmm. He didn't. He didn't. Almost lost a deal. For me, that's the equivalent of y'all when y'all say the baby got the star in his head. It's not that equivalent. All right, then break it down it's for me. It's not that because equivalent. Because st- when, when y'all say that, the star in the head speaks to, oh, you look and behave a certain way. We can't do certain business with you. We're threatened. We're afraid. I thought I heard y'all say that a bunch of times. I did say that. You saying that a dude not keeping his mouth shut for 48 hours is the equivalent of a nigga traveling with an entourage claiming I wouldn't even make the deal with you. I would have never made the deal with you. We wouldn't have got to the 48 hours to worry about. Never. You ain't even coming in the room to make this deal. No, we doing that go. thing that black people you do. We can. Me. We doing that thing that black people do. We compare in detrimental behavior, but at the end of it, it's detrimental behavior. You know I mean? It's behavior. Yo, one. Damn. See, look. Yo, See, look. Please. It's detrimental behavior. I agree. Back to shock jock. I agree. It's I detrimental. Throw, I can throw ninety million reasons why this deal should be taken from you and not you under this shock jock clause. I'm not leaving my very consistent point. It exists here too. Dre, the nigga that played the part to a T, still lost that deal. He didn't lose it. He almost lost it. But why? Answer it. I can answer you right now. Pardon me, sir. I can answer you right now. And. Pardon. My bad. I'm like, pardon me, sir. You push it off. Yeah, push it off. Push it off. Now, now let me tell you. Now, now let me tell you, me tell you there, why. And please don't cut yo, me. Yo, you got something on you? He good. He good. Yo, <laughs> he ain't like me from the jump. Too. I'm talking. Hey, yo, please don't cut me off. <laughs> Go ahead, get you off. Boom. The announcement hadn't been made yet. Mm-hmm. That Apple acquired Beats. So now we got billions of stock dollars. Riding on this fucking announcement. And when you announced it two days early, it could have fucking upset the stock market. That's why that detriment is different than you coming in here with six niggas that got guns on them in a fucking board meeting. Or you got 40 red Benzes outside. It's a different level of liability. That's what separates the two deals. Please acknowledge that I'm right. You are. I want him to acknowledge he me. He's not going right. to do that because he's no, not. not. <laughs> Yo, can we go Cause home? Because he, he's not. Can we go uh, home? Because he's not right. Can we go home, please? We might be. And yeah, I man, you, your ass. You, you, all right, so you can I say your ass? You do realize. You do realize. I am like, cracking like major your fuck. It is a muffin bakery I, I, in this I, I, bitch I today. I don't see it that way. I think I you sound like a nut. I know. I think you. You agree sound with him like too? A nut. You agree with me or you agree with him? Yes, that I just said. No, do you agree with me, Corey? Do you agree with me? He don't even. I know. I know. The three. I know. I ain't like shocked that that's his response. I'm not shocked that that's his response. I, I, I'm nigga, not you could have upset the fucking stock market. Apple was the biggest company in the fucking planet back then. You said then. all that, but before you started talking, I said, if you're pregnant, you're pregnant. If you're a smoker, you're a smoker. Before you get did all that beautiful shit, I said, oh, a detriment is a detriment. It's not. That's not it's true. Level. That's it not is, a though. detriment. That's not, it's not. that's not true. Nigga, one, I, you I can know, get cut on your arm. The other one, you can get your but, face blown right, so off. I'm done talking to him. See, for you... Y'all won't really tell me why it's not. Why is it not? Why is, now why is you opening your mouth about a deal that could upset the entire stock market? Why is a detriment not a detriment? That ain't got right, nothing to do with it. It's a difference from you. Right, it's a difference from you. To, like, you're not some of your songs. I don't get your question. One or two of your songs. One or two of your songs getting leaked and you fucking up the stock yes, market. Yes, killing someone is a detriment. No, I can walk outside and get robbed at the corner. I can walk outside and get robbed at the corner. That's detrimental. I could also go to a different corner and lose my fucking life. A detriment is not a detriment. There are weights to them. There are weights to them. It's not equal. Fucking up the stock market and you dropping you know a song too much is? or something like I'm too early or something. Like, I think what? I understand what they're saying, but this is. The I'm shit. saying the same shit. I know you are. So don't look at him and he. Agrees. <laughs> I have to look at somebody. I can't look at the look camera. at Parks. I have to look at why. Because he might agree he, with Parks agreeing with us. Nobody no. agrees. with right, no. <laughs> Parks agreeing with us. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not just looking at people to agree with. One, two. I think the three of you, if you're four. On, the four of you, whoever's on y'all side, I think y'all all sound nuts. I know. I'm not know. getting into it. But it's the Shikari Richardson thing, right? Shikari Richardson is saying, hey, for this person, you said you understand the circumstance. For me, you didn't. My mom died. I did this. I went through this. Excluding the time, because that's where they have a point, which is. You so did that this. changes everything. Stop, though. stop, stop. Because what her point is, is y'all with the rules could have overrid the rule. Because you cited strenuous circumstance. That is what she's saying. And that is at the root of what I'm saying. And y'all keep trying to ignore it. 
Dr. Dre fucked up a deal. Y'all almost. could talk. No, not almost. Not almost. The deal went through. Not almost. The deal, so the deal went happen? through. All right, I'm I hear asking. y'all. See, and no, y'all, don't, see y'all don't respond. I'm asking. It's not almost. And y'all trying to do that tries to negate my point. It's a question. Dr. Dre and his good acting ass did something that negated a deal. It was plain as day. But it didn't happen that way. Why? Back to my earlier point. Because me and this white man is tight. We have been tight. He has made certain, he's put certain shit to the side. We rock, he rocks. And because he rocks with me, yeah, this don't matter. Y'all are saying on the baby side that that shouldn't take place because he looks like that. He sounds like that. No. And it don't matter what no, he brought in. No, you're saying that. Because we not saying that. that sound white. You not saying that. We not saying that. that. And if you think that's what y'all these fucking billionaire no. investors time, give a every fuck time about Jimmy Hot being white ass, looked at you crazy. Firstly, y'all bring up how he act, what he do, what he did, because how he said, question. y'all keep doing you that. You asked the question, why is it baby looked at in a certain type of light and we gave you a harsh reality? No, a one that a he acknowledges. Reality. One that he acknowledges. Yo, I don't acknowledge it. You do, because you'll say, yo, I I'm not going over there because know. of a certain this type of niggas. That I don't know from a can of paint. Uh -huh. If he came in here with $10 billion, I'm going to talk to him again. <laughs> I don't acknowledge what y'all are saying. What are you talking about? Forget it, yo. <laughs> nah, because I'm really upset. Forget it. <laughs> forget it, yo. Yo, forget it, yo. It's like you don't get what we're what? saying, though. No, get I it. get what y'all saying. Joe's saying you don't care what the nigga look like. Y'all not responding to what I'm saying. You got this much money. Y'all keep dancing around and trying to die on this fucking white ass sword, but y'all not responding really to what I'm saying. To be reckless for the white like that. No, that's cat. It's just reality. Liability is liability, Joe. Liability, like we just you know said what y'all sound like. Y'all sound like Bud C League when they got they on his you, ass about the steroids. They want to hear that. Yes, shit a liability offices. is a liability. They want to hear that. But shit nigga, you knew about that they, liability, and you was down with that liability, and you rolled with that liability until you didn't. And that's where the Jimmy Iovine example yes, comes in because he never what left. These you, companies right? That's what do. business is. And and my that's what business point. is. Wanna, We're gonna go sign this millionaire killer nigga because he's got records. Offices, but they don't want it. Yeah. That's it. They want to hear Fucking it. Right. They want the texture. They want the cloth. They want to fill the streets in the office. They do not want you niggas in there. No, I'm going to go sign this nigga that shot 14 people because he can sell records. But you think I'm going to sit on the stand for him? The liability stops at a certain point. This nigga's the big ho... Let me ask you this, yo. No, 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 whoa, whoa. Me of a blood, yo, let of me the bloods. No. Let me, come on, let me add. Let me it. ask you this. Let me give him ten more billion How, dollars. Let me ask you this, cause you ain't out, cause we we kept Jay Z let me give out this big argument. Blood, ten million more dollars. We kept Jay Z out this argument for a reason, and we kept Jay Z out this argument for a reason because it dispels every fucking thing you said. Cause Jay Z the main one that got it together. Hold, let me get let me get this shit together, cause there's a little more money out there for me besides what came from. I'm Marcy gonna Rogers. modify my perception. And go get this motherfucking money. It's a little bit more out there for me than the Jay Z that came from Marcy Projects. Well, you know so let me tighten up a little bit. The more I think about it, if you insert Jay in this, it strengthens my argument. Yo. <laughs> yo, I'm this nigga Trump. Yo. Uh, <laughs> let me ask you this. this you think America views Jay Z the way that they should? I think any black person that we say right now, you're going to say they don't got, they just do. I think that's why but it's I'm a lose-lose lose argument. That, but that's where my argument... Yeah. You're not about to tell I, me wait, Jay-Z is not Jay-Z in America. That, but that's where my argument gains strength. Because we're not just talking about any black person. No, we are talking about the greatest black people. And yeah, Jay Z all keep and finding Jay -Z is ways to figure by out white America and why the they mogul. should be minimalized. And, 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 and y'all don't really hear and that y'all are doing that. Michael no, Joy like Michael no, Joy. No, and and Jay Z viewed the way Jay Z should be fucking viewed in America. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Are you fucking yes. stupid? Jay Z. Jay Z is up there with, in the boy, in the big, in the boy, in the boys club that they don't let niggas in. Yeah. He sits in there with them. And Master P out of his mouth said he didn't wish he kept the fucking gold tooth, gold teeth based on how he was perceived. But but, and you argue in that point. But don't bring up Master P. I did because it started with but, P and Baby. I, I know, and their perception but, but now, played a point in their success. Now we and at, you disregard it. now we had a greater perception. No, right? we had like somebody's we words out of their mouth. No, we could have argued about Master P. Jay-Z out of his mouth 
has done the shut up and dribble LeBron thing. He's done the yo, I can't buy art thing. He's done the yo, I can't buy real estate thing. He's done the yo, Beyonce had to be my wife before I could even. He's done the yo, I was over here vacationing and this white person looked at me and my wife. Ask him today what I have. Pardon me. Nigga, this is today. No, no, no the fucking today. real estate thing no, was 20 today. years ago. No, it's today. Before his level of ascension. Ish, I'm telling you that this is today for him. Now, I know that that don't match y'all's argument. But, no, because that's but not that true. that is today. It's not true. I've spoken to him less than a year ago, and this was the conversation. This was the conversation. So, yes, that's Jay-Z. We know who he is. Yes, that's Beyonce. We know who she is. And y'all are sitting here telling me that y'all think in America's scope, they viewed the way they should be viewed after y'all just watched that Super Bowl performance? That's the fuck, that's at the root of my Super Bowl argument, is that we have the best of the best, and that's how we're presented. And y'all argue everything toward that. I don't have nothing more to say. If y'all don't understand what I'm no, saying, no, no. I can't, I'm, I can't I'm, preach I'm, it to I'm you. Back, I'm back to warming up the oven. I'm, well, listen, I'm the biggest, the oven, one, one of the biggest, biggest Yo, broke. One of the biggest the boys fuck? club in the world is what? The NFL. Correct. Guess what? Black motherfucker came in and modified something. Whether it was minimalistic or not, that same motherfucker. The one person we talk about. The fuck you talking about. One you person we talk about. You're wrong, nigga. Holy I'm not wrong. shit. You wrong, nigga. Holy shit. I was still looking at Corey all fucking I would never I'm not even looking at Corey. I would, you wrong. I would, yo, you for sound our like relationship, a fucking For our nut. relationship, I would never expect to be hearing out of Joe Button's mouth and oh, saying the way you're perceived shit. does not affect the distance in which you go. Yo, the same nigga, nigga hey, sir, come to my wait, house. Stop, you better not bring that in little wild motherfuckers to my house. Because you, this is my consistent point. You better not let nobody even drop you off, sir. And I know that this is a trigger for The way you're perceived... The way you are perceived affects nah. in which of the distance you go. Stop and we that all shit. from the bottom, but and niggas feel like that. Stop we that all from shit, the bottom. Joe, but now imagine these rich, I know wealthy that, white I know that this conversation. If is Joe a, would is tell me not to bring the Kip Crips to his bad. house, you think a seventy-five-year-old fucking go. man from Switzerland is not going to say, "Don't bring the Lokes in here." So to y'all. But you gave me a billion dollars so I could because I'm so big. Hey. So now I pull up with 15 crips, five bitches, and a C on my face. <laughs> in the back of your head, no matter how much business you do with me, when you it comes to that, a certain level, a certain distance. You're going to stay at a certain level. Come on, Joe. How you perceived is everything to do with how far you go. Yo, I'm so everything. happy he's here. Yeah. I'm so happy everything. he's here. You talking I to a nigga. I am so fucking happy he's here. Perceived a is certain he, way. Is he expressing your point for you? No, I'm telling you the truth. sound like lunatics. We are tap dancing together. I know. No, y'all not. It's a horrible dance. I know it's not. Y'all niggas sound nuts, but you die in this white you sword all the time. And that's why I'm happy you're here. Because you're turning it into a white thing ish. instead of a money what, thing. Ish, that's your up, scapegoat all, all the time is to try to paint me as pro fucking white and I'm the furthest thing from. But that don't be me. Because I got a white girlfriend now I'm pro white. No. The fuck out my face, nigga. I'm pro money, pro business, and pro sense. No, it's. You wrong. No. Is. You are. Well, well let me talk. Wait, hold up, like nigga. Hold up, hold up. I'm hold glad he's here. Cause that why? Cause it ain't a white I'm thing no more. It. Cause he fucking here. I'm, 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 I'm black suit. A professed Crips gang member, rapper, nigga from the bottom of North. He been shot. I've been shot. You know, man. Bro, I'm happy as hell. He here. I'm trying to talk to him for a minute. I can't respond to both of you at the same time. No, it's you're not pro white because you have a white girlfriend. That's what you preach to them. No, let me tell you. Yeah, me. you do. And ISIS is sitting there yeah. shaking his fucking head. You do preach that to them, Ish. that I die on the white right, sword. Yo, you just me, said let it. Let me make myself clear. Because you three are agreeing with each other, that's not making me waver. So you don't you have never to. You're never going to waver. But you, you never but waver, waver Joe. But you you not never waver. waver. No, two plus two could be on the I'm board as four. You're going to say it's five. You're not going to waver. I'm only saying that you don't have to tell me about ISIS. Yo, we pulled up definitions Body of language. words and you and said, that's wrong. That's Webster's awesome. wrong. Let me get back to you. <laughs> this thing Nobody, said Webster's stupid. Let me get back to you. Nobody's <laughs> calling you pro-white because you have a white girlfriend. That's not even my style of potting. If I'm calling you pro-white, it's because you're telling me that because the NFL opened the door and allowed Jay-Z to sit down in the Here seat, he goes that they view him as equal. Bullshit. And that's what I you didn't just say that. said. No, I and that's what did. you just said. No, I fucking didn't. And you Nigga, sound I said like the biggest white boys said. club in the world allow him to modify some of their dealings. That's what I said. I didn't say they view what him dealing, like equal. What dealings? You think you get that fucking halftime show without Jay-Z? Ooh. 
I guess so I you answer start. Fuck start. I didn't say that you do the music. You doing all that don't make you right. That don't make you right. No, white people let us sing and dance don't mean shit, nigga. I didn't say it did. The fuck are you talking about? You do that every time. I didn't say it did. No, I don't. Fuck up with that shit. You the only nigga here agreeing with your fucking self. Only you. What did he modify it? I just told you. You told me he put on a show. I just told you. I got still Dre in my phone. I just you told, told you what he modified it. This show is so fucking I just smart. Answered you. I'm saying I that answered I'm you. opening the door. No, you didn't answer for, for me yet. Best I know, black I know, men I know, don't I say that they view him a certain way. I didn't way. say it did. But you saying they do? I did not. No, no, you said that. NFL you said that. You always put niggas stories in the nigga mouth. Yeah, Rowan, let's bet money. Tape, How much money you got? Let's bet it. I don't have cash on me. Let's bet it. I don't have cash on me. I don't have cash on me. Let's bet it. I ain't saying that. I started with, yo, I started with, do you think the NFL and America view Jay-Z the way you should? All three of you are green ass niggas. I said that the white people that Y'all said yeah. Did you say yeah? Did you say yeah? Did you say yeah? I didn't say that. Not as equals. Nobody said equals. Not a soul said equals. You said viewed him as he should be viewed. And said, you, I didn't say nobody that. said the word that they view him as no. their equal. Nobody not a soul that. in here said nobody that, Joe. You're not going to do that. Yo. He always do that. Oh, y'all are cute. He always put Who words the in the nigga mouth. You just did. Yo. Remember, you y'all think this nigga the NFL me a or America hey, yo, view Jay-Z the way they should. We said, it we was a said very that. simple question we all said that yes. all of you yes. fucking white sheep we niggas said yes. said yes. We didn't say equal. You're wrong. We didn't say equal. It's opinion. We didn't say equal. We said yes. Thank you, dog. We said yes. We said yes. yes he feel like wrong. yes. Okay, that's fine. Yes that's wrong. fine. We said we feel like Jay Z's viewed as Jay Z. All right. The yes. All right. Is wrong. Know what you ain't right. answer for me yet? I got a man standing on a How black Jay-Z sword. How Jay Z get in the room so and baby there? We got you ain't answer that for me yet. Talking crazy. He answered that nah, for me. Nah, he just. Like, uh, we talking crazy. We talking about a man that uh, that's standing on a black sword and understands the black. Stance of it, but then doesn't go back and say, "No, I understand what it is to be perception is reality. How you're perceived is it's how somebody far you else's go. reality. How could you be standing on the black side of the argument and did not agree with the way you present it, bro? If I walk into a fucking deal with E1 and my pants is at my knees, they gonna treat me like that. How do you? How if does you're that not mean? well spoken, they gonna treat you a they certain way. They gonna treat you like that. If your you're presentation right. physically is a certain thing, you're they right. gonna treat you a certain way. That you're ain't right. that E one nigga. That's, that's at the fucking a, DMV. Standing at the. Fucking, you could go to fucking DMV, nigga. Black side of things. You could go to McDonald's and they gonna treat you like something if you carry Perception yourself like is something. It's reality. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? Hey, but wait, look, y'all right. Perception is reality on every color spectrum. Every color spectrum. <laughs> A nigga walking here with holes in his t-shirt and some dirty ass sneakers. We're going to assume he ain't got a dollar. He pulling this motherfucker, everything. And I'm not talking about you because you understand something. The average motherfucker, he pulling here with three, four bus downs on, two, three bitches in a car outside. We assume he got something. That's true. Mm Because your perception and how you're perceived is everything. I'm 80 years old. I got $50 billion to put into you motherfuckers. I gave y'all five of my 50. If you don't get it together with that five, I don't have to bring you into this office, Joe. I did my part for you already. How much do I owe you if I brought you to the table? What else do I owe you? If my business is my business, whether it be battle rap, music, whatever, once I give you your just due for whatever I think it is and you agree to it after that, however much I fuck with you more on that is a personal thing. Or more money. Or more money. Oh, because you did, listen, we paint, listen, we are paying you to paint this house. After the house is painted, we say, you know what? You did a motherfucking immaculate job. I Come sit you, down at the table with us. I want you to do the roof now. That ain't the, and that's not real. That's not real. I painted you to fucking make the house nice. <laughs> they paid the nigga to, <laughs> this is facts. And if you couldn't, and if you couldn't create no value monetarily, I wouldn't no, even but, speak no, to you. His argue, I, I wouldn't even. No, I would be scared to but talk he, to you. You did create value. Look, his argument is: Look, he created value. He did. He created he did. value. No, absolutely. So I have to give you more because of what you create. Fuck what we di- fuck what we discussed. I have to give you more, or I have to hold you in a higher light. Besides what I paid you to do, I don't have oh, to do that. Man. White or black, Joe. You are the same niggas that said. I said okay. Yo. You don't even owe people respect. You sitting here saying that these white people need to hold these people in a higher regard. You are the same person that said, yo, you not even, your friends ain't even owed respect. That's a false sense of security, people. Please don't think that nobody owe you anything because no, nobody owes you nothing. 
So what do they owe Dre? I don't I don't agree with that. Nothing. Mind you. I think no. Dre, Tyler Perry, Jay Z, all of these people we talking about some of the most, most accomplished people, people in the world. world. Yeah, I agree. Talking about some of the most a fraction of a percent. Not even one percent. A fraction, a fraction, a fraction, a thousandth of a percent, a millionth of a about, percent. We're talking about multi millionaires and billion saying that whoever got them to that level didn't give them enough or give them what they supply. That's what we argued about right now. About niggas not having they just do. And cosigns. You know who cosigned Jay? I'm going to start chopping it up with Warren Buffett. I'm going to start chopping it up with this person. I'm going to start chopping it up with that person. And this conversation allows them to say, nah, 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 he cool. Niggas ain't lead a project to go across town to another project and try to t highlight the nigga that's dope in that project. No, niggas leave to ascend, ascend. Go further up. So you mean to tell me I signed a deal with you, I look up seven years later, and you still, you're actually, like I said, you're just a bigger blood. <laughs> I gave you a billion dollars I look up seven years later You're a bigger blood Not a bigger businessman Not a bigger And I know you're making these, I'm talking about what you're showing yeah. you, might, you might be doing everything You might be doing shit doors, close to But I'm talking about what you're showing okay. You're showing I've done nothing but invested in Making the bloods bigger <laughs> That's what I did with my billions of dollars I made the bloods bigger Baby, you see <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, oh, that nigga, nothing more. Like, no. No. Bro, you crazy, Joe. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Dog. I cannot believe you just went. Hell yeah, bro. You got me sweating. My head hurt. Oh, my I don't even take pills. I'm on my fourth uh, <laughs> fucking ibuprofen. I didn't even know this was this 